Well, hey there, gang. This is Crash from the Crash Cast Podcast. I am happy to announce that I have a new piece of equipment in my workshop, and I wanted to show it to you. The Flat Boys Flat Printer 3 CNC machine. I got it all finished up, and uh, I did the first maiden cut on it last night. Unfortunately, I had a little hiccup with it because, uh, well, I forgot to properly tighten down the set screw on the X-Drive stepper motor pulley. So I have fixed that now, and I'm going to try to cut it again. Last night's sheet worked really good, but I saw a little anom anomalies. And, um, well, I quickly chased it down and figured out what I had done wrong. I have since remedied that. And we're going to try to cut that same file that I tried last night, and that file was 3D Mons Little Ripper uh, 3D Airplane, and you can find that at flatforum.com. Look down in the show notes somewhere down there, and you'll be able to see the links to this. Well, all right, let me give you a little walk around, a little tour of this fine piece of equipment. Well, here she is, folks. This is the Flat Printer 3 by the Flat Boys. What you see here is a machine that's, made, that's uh, primary construction material is quarter inch MDF. And MDF is, for all intensive purposes, a manufactured lumber. And those of you that have built CNC's or been following the hobby CNC, I guess uh, following, <laughs> is um, you, you'll already know that MDF is the most stable, I guess, wood derivative out there for making CNC machines. It lasts a long time. Very stable, very strong material, and that's that's what this uh, machine is primarily made from. Now we'll get a little bit closer. I, I guess first off, we're going to start. We're going to look at the back, and you'll see here the first thing that probably grabs your attention is this green-looking motor with a shaft coming off of it. That is actually a Harbor Freight um, jeweler's grinder. I think is what you'll find if you look up Harbor Freight and try to look for this thing. It's only like fifty, uh, yeah, like fifty dollars. Now this thing spins at fifteen thousand RPM, and you'll see that there's a flex shaft coming up, and then it's velcroed to a vacuum hose attachment going around to our YZ gantry assembly. On the previous flat printer, we used a roto zip, which is a, you know, just a premier tool. But we've actually found that this Harbor Freight spindle, this Harbor Freight jeweler's grinder with flex shaft, is actually got a better flex shaft on it than RotoZip has. And gosh, I want to say probably the whole tool and flex shaft, all of that together, runs you probably half of what the RotoZip would cost you. So it's a great tool. The only thing to notice is that this thing turns at 15,000 RPM, whereas the RotoZip turns at 30,000 RPM. So there's a little difference in factoring in your feed and speeds um, you know for your files but nonetheless it still cuts really good and really fast now again this vacuum hose this is also included with your flat printer 3 kit and it's a really cool deal it mounts in there you can see the hose and it goes down to my dirty shop floor and it's got an end on it that you can just hook up to your shop vac unfortunately as much as the flat printer 3 comes with it doesn't come with a shop vac now, on the back here also, you're going to see this strip outlet where I've got things plugged into. This comes with your Flat Printer 3, and it's very nice to have because with this, I can simply flick this switch, and that live that makes the whole strip live, and that turns on my driver card. As well, now I've added this. This little thing here is a rocker switch. And I've got my spindle, my Harbor Freight spindle, actually plugged into it. That way I can have my driver card on and live. Uh, but for $5 more, I can buy this, and then I don't have to listen to the spindle come on every time I wish to turn the machine on to jog it. So that's what you got. Exiting here is our USB cable. Kind of hard to see there. I know my lighting is poor. But... That's, that is the USB cable that's coming out and going through a mess of wires and then up to my computer. And you'll notice, hey, that's a laptop. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. So we'll come around to the front of the machine. Now, first off, you'll see this big gadget here. This is my YZ gantry assembly. And it's going to be kind of hard to see unless I jog it, but inside here... 
way up in there you might see it shining that's a drive screw it's an Acme drive screw and this is kind of a hybrid on the Z gantry because we have the stepper motor is beneath this pulley and then it's running through a what a gear reduction or whatever to the drive screw I guess it's a, a gear increase anyway that runs our gantry for our tool up and down just a little quick overview and we can see down here we have a pair of driver rollers there's two of them here and this drives your foam your ply your uh, balsa anything that you want to cut it drives it in and out of the machine so the cool thing is this machine has a relatively small form factor but you can process materials of unlimited length you have a width restriction of I want to say like 27 and a half inches but you can put in material as long as you want now I, another thing I should talk about with the YZ gantry assembly you may have a hard time seeing here but there are these little plastic knobs down here is one and up here and they're on both sides four total that allows you to remove this entire Z plate assembly so that you can put on another tool you may want to mount up a Dremel um, although I find the flex shaft is pretty good you could put on a marker attachment and you may want to pre-color your foamy aircraft before you cut them out and that's already been proven over at flatforum.com so very cool we got plans for a hot wire cutter for cutting constant cord hot wire cut wings and gosh who knows what we're going to come up with this on the future or in the future I should say now you, th you see three silver bars here if I am going to try to do this without dropping a camera but I could actually push down on that it's still new so it's a little difficult that brings in our lay on rollers down to pinch whatever we're cutting in between the top of these rollers and these drive rollers so that because we have a dual drive roller mechanism there is no more chances of your material skewing under the torsional forces of the bit as it's being cut also included we have this is included with the flat boys uh, flat printer 3 kit a USB keypad and you may say my goodness what is that for and that simply allows us to if I load the program that allows us to jog our gantries all around we can jog the Y Z X anywhere we want once we get our material clamped in place and it allows us to move everything around I don't have the software loaded yet so I can't do that now behind this door here we've got a fan that's pulling air out so that we can keep our driver card nice and cool and try to zoom in a little bit this is our power supply this down here is our easy CNC three axis driver board and I'll try to get up underneath here this is a little piece of magic that is our planet CNC USB interface and I guess now we don't have to buy a seat at $175 of Mach 3 we don't have to buy that anymore to process our G code when we're ready to cut something. Now we can actually do it all via USB, which kind of brings up the next cool thing. Since I'm not using Mach 3, since I don't have to worry about getting a computer with a good, robust DB25 parallel port on it to run the CNC machine, well, now I can run off of an inexpensive laptop. And I use this little guy here it's just a simple little nine inch netbook believe it or not this little computer I paid 200 bucks for it um, it runs this machine perfectly it runs it very very well I'm gonna go ahead and launch the controller software this is the software that's actually going to run our uh, g-code and it's booting up Again, it, it means that uh, you know you can have a laptop and uh, do all your file processing with a laptop. That just makes it so much easier. I personally have four CNC machines in this shop. And if you look over here, you see three computers in my messy workshop. And all three of those machines are used specifically for CNC machines. The far left is for my overhead gantry beast, my big aluminum machine. The middle one is for the flat printer MK2, and this little guy on the end is for the original flat printer, which I don't use anymore. 
And uh, now I can effectively replace all of that with with this little machine. Now you can see the jog pad. Yeah, I can't really zoom out. I'm holding the camera, but I can jog the gantry wherever I want to. Hit the angle and run two at the same time. So anyway, that is just a brief, quick and nasty rundown of our flat printer three. So now let's run it.